Come on, yeah. Hello, everyone. Look at your beautiful faces out there in the crowd. It is such a delight to be standing in front of you. I honestly had moments in this past week where I thought that I doubted that this would happen. <laughs> um, I think my staff found me lying on the floor in my office a few times. Uh, thanks, staff, for picking me up and moving on. Um, hey, I'm Corey Philly, and I'm the executive director of the Vancouver Fringe Festival. Yes, it is. Yes. And hey, we're back, which is so exciting. Um, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded traditional territories of the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam peoples, and it is an honor to live, work, and celebrate on these territories. I walked into this job in January. Most of my staff walked into this job uh, in May and June, and here we are doing this thing. Um, what has been so exciting is that, uh, you know, we came into this space and uh, I so admire everybody's patience with us um, in getting us up and going and the various uh, emails and what's going on and, and all those things. And, you know, what we decided that we wanted to do for the Fringe as we sort of rebuild, renew, re-energize the organization after the last couple of years was that we really wanted to try to do new things if we could. Obviously, keeping in mind that what everybody loves about the Fringe is the energy and the artists and the just the cacophony of, of uh, creativity that happens during these two weeks. So this is kind of where we ended up. Um, I want to acknowledge um, all the great sponsors that uh, our funders that have come out for us. Again, uh, the Department of Canadian Heritage, um, City of Vancouver, uh, the BC Arts Council. We also have, and also the Vancouver Foundation. Um, I want to acknowledge them because even though I know they're moving through a new funding cycle, they actually supported the Fringe enormously over the last three years. So a very big uh, kudos to all of those organizations. Yeah. Um, and I'd also like to acknowledge our sponsors. Uh, we have some great ones back. Uh, obviously, Ward Cider is back again this year. Yeah, Phillips is back again this year. Yes, for sure. And um, we are working on a whole bunch of other ones because we're um, people in motion. This is how it goes. Uh, we've got some really amazing uh, humans that have stepped up and said, you know, we're going to give you a little bit here, and we're going to take a bit there, and we're going to be involved there. And that's been really crucial to the Fringe always, but especially as we try to re-energize this organization again. And it's, it's so amazing how all of you have shown up for it. I want to really acknowledge all the artists in this, uh, this, this group tonight. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for taking a chance and being back with us today. Thank you for actually sending emails and telling us when we did things right and maybe when you were a little concerned we were doing things wrong. Um, uh, please keep in mind that this is an ongoing conversation. At any moment, you can come up and have that conversation. And we will do our best uh, in the time frame that we have to make sure those are happening. Uh, so I just want to turn the amazing pages to my, uh, where are we at here right now? Okay, fresh faces. So, uh, first of all, I hope you have seen this. I'm going to trot it around a little bit. Yes, thank you very much. So, obviously, we're doing something different with the program guide this year. Um, we will be rolling out other versions of different things and schedules and changes over the next month and a bit. We knew that we um, were sort of doing two things at once, like starting to build the, the uh, fringe again, as at this moment, trying to build a festival again. And oddly enough, though they are the same, they are, they, though they seem similar, sometimes they're not. Uh, so, but what was really terrific is that we got on new people with fresh eyes on what we had done before. Uh, so I really want to give a huge shout out because I know this went up until about, I don't know, 5.15 today? Um, uh, trying to put together not just this beautiful uh, new program guide, which is the start of something huge over the next six weeks, but also the beautiful um, uh, PowerPoint presentation behind me, thank you. And the people that I'm gonna shout out right now is Matt Ostrahan, our uh, manager of marketing communications, thank you. 
Amin Mathur, who is um, the person who's responsible for the beautiful graphics. We are so excited to have him on. He's one of our co-op students here this, this week. Uh, it has been delightful to see that people's imaginations just run wild with the fringe, because I think that's really what it is, and how we then can create this amazing container for that to happen. So um, all of the individuals that you're seeing up here are Martin, who is the new operations manager. These are all new, thank you. Uh, Lena Elzogby, uh, who is uh, the assistant uh, volunteer coordinator. Um, also Clara Park, who's a volunteer coordinator. Uh, who's that girl, who cares? Uh, Zoe Zhang, who's a marketing coordinator, market, who's been here forever, thank you. Um, and all the different people that come on. You know, people take a huge chance when they go into a new organization or with an organization that is rebuilding. And I just wanna say my staff kicks frickin' ass. They have put all of this together in two and a half months. That is it, friends. I was here since January. Everybody else other than Zoe has been here like me. So uh, they just went with intent. They went with purpose. They went the values of the organization. I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have people in the office again. And also how wonderful it is to see just the steaming ahead of all the different plans and interests and all those things. So please, another round for my staff, please. Thank you. You're gonna be hearing from us a lot. Um, obviously, fresh look. So we uh, were looking at the 64 page program guide that we did before, and we knew we'd never go back to that. Um, we have actually recreated, Matt has, to be quite clear, recreated the entire Fringe website in the last two months. It is up, it is running. We will have tickets on sale as of Tuesday, and that's all because everybody had that little engine that could. So that is amazing to, for everything here, because of course we want to sell for as long as we possibly can sell, but it's also amazing because it actually just is a kickoff to our ideas of what's going to happen next for the Fringe. We're going to be asking you this throughout the entire festival. What do you want? How do you see the future? What is cool for you? What is not working for you? All of those things. Things about the things that always have happened, things about the things that are going to happen. It's really important that we want to engage with you this entire time. Um, I am going to be living at the fringe the entire time and I want you to come find me and I want you to come talk to me and I want you to come and say what your experience is uh, because the nature of what we're trying to do and rebuild the culture of everything is also that we want you to be part of it. We want you to be collaborators in this. I'm not sitting up here trying to dictate anything. I'm here trying to figure out what are we gonna do next that's gonna excite us all, that's gonna support artist development, that's gonna support artists as they move forward. That's the thing, friends. That's what we wanna do. So here are a few of the 74 shows that are gonna be in and around Van Granville Island. Now we stuck to the island. We have one or two things off of it. Uh, one is at Studio 16, and one is at one of our new creative partners, um, Leap Studios, who's gonna do all the live streaming this year. Yeah, very cool. And um, I'd like to recognize Ray and Natalie in the office for that, in the, in, in the here. That, yeah, where are you? Oh, wait, there they are. So they're gonna be new partners, and we're very excited to have them on board. We are also gonna be doing a podcast. I started it once in June, I'm doing my next one tomorrow, but through the entire Fringe, we are gonna have a podcast every single day. And it's not gonna be me, just my voice. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna invite one artist to come up, talk to that artist, and then that artist is gonna start a chain. And they're gonna to talk to all the art other artists, because it's not important that it's my voice out there, it's important that it's our voices out there, and that we get to hear different points of view and different ideas and different artistic perspectives. So that is going to be one of the very cool things that we're gonna move through the year, but through the fringe, we're gonna be there, we're gonna be live, we're gonna make it happen. Um, so here is where all of the things are, which is in this beautiful, Beautiful for sure. Um, and um, Matt, again, done a beautiful job. So those are all the stages that we're gonna be at. I'd also like to recognize Arts Umbrella. Arts Umbrella moved over to the Emily Carr space and they have a beautiful new theater there. And uh, they've allowed us to be a partner in that. And I gotta say, wow. It's, it, you know, not all the time can you actually go up to somebody and say, hey, this is the thing that is happening. We want you to be involved and everybody says yes or no or whatever. Everybody has said yes to us. Cultural partners are the blood life of what we do down here. And they are so very, very important to keep going, to keep functioning, to keep partnering with. 
to make choices and, and different opportunities with, to make sure that those opportunities include the artists that we're dealing with. This is what we're trying to do over the next year, over the next few years. Also, I'd like to recognize the Improv Center. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. They have welcomed us back down here. We are so excited to be here with them. And um, we're going to be there also at the Improv Center. And we're doing a big drag show one of the nights that we're there. So that is something you should take a look at in the schedule. Very cool. That drag show leads us to my next partner that's new, Carousel Theatre. So Carousel Theatre has always provided a venue down here, a bring your own venue uh, scenario. But this year, they're partnering with us. So they are going to do a number of things. One is and let's just start with the funniest, the baby rave that's going to happen. <laughs> um, the second one is, they're gonna do yoga with us every, every, everything. Yeah, because we care about health and wellness and our artists and what they're going through at this point. And also, uh, Dave DeVoe is going to do a drag workshop so everybody can come up and figure out how to do drag. And finally, that will lead us into uh, the, the drag night. But also, we are actually partnering with them on a new award. So the Carousel Theatre and myself and Fringe are partnering on the Carousel Theatre uh, TYA Award. And what's it going to mean is we are going to invite applications in for new artists who want to do TYA work. And we're going to choose one of those from the applications. And then we're going to work with them throughout the entire year. We're going to get studio space for you. We're going to get a little bit of money for you. We're going to get a position place in the fringe for you. So that's going to happen as well. There's other awards as well, but that's a really cool new one that we're actually putting forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, TYA is theater for young audiences because Carousel is theater for young audiences. Yeah, so we thought we'd like invest in that because we really want to mix it up what, what comes to the fringe and actually broaden our audience and our horizons. Thanks, Jai. Um, so there I am. I, sorry, I talked about the podcast prematurely. Okay, but there I am. Uh, I'm, it, the podcast is called All Things Fringy at the moment. I'm sorry, that, I, it amused me. Um, but um, I welcome anybody who wants to give it a new name, uh, just not alliteration, if that would be the case. Uh, and then you can also become a friend, donate, you know, tell other people to donate. We're still looking for volunteers, we're still looking for billets, uh, we're, we're still looking for all those things. And we're really, really happy with the, he, the beautiful volunteer human beings that we have, um, and they have, I believe now, about 130? Yes? Yes, around there. Anyway, uh, but we're looking for 300. So we're, let's make this dream come true for all of us, right? Uh, we want to be make sure that we are actually uh, very much helping all the partners in all the venues do what we need to do. And our volunteers are such an important... Uh, we, well, we honestly couldn't do it without them. I mean, that is not an exaggeration. Um, so we're very excited about that. So I really want to recognize also very important uh, partners uh, with me. Uh, and that is the, the board of directors of the Vancouver Fringe Festival. Uh, Claudia Schoberg and Jai Joa are over here. There they are. Uh, um, you know, like every other organization, like this past two years, come on. Um, and they have been stalwart, they have been loyal, they have worked their asses off for the organization. Um, I just want to give an opportunity for Claudia, who is the president, to come up and give a few words. I know I probably said them all, Claudia, but yeah, no, but here you go. Thanks, everyone. Oh, thank you. It's very exciting. I love all the energy. Thank you, Corey, for that. Uh, yeah, Jai and I are both here representing the board, and uh, I'm a serious fringer. I have been for many, many years, and now I'm on the board, so I get to do all sorts of other kind of uh, maybe not so fun stuff. But every year I do, I do come to the fringe, and I love it. And uh, so I'm, I'm glad that you're all here and that you're all going to experience it. I just thought a couple things I love about the fringe. One thing that we do, uh, Corey mentioned awards. On the board, we have an award called the Artistic Risk award and so every year you know Jai and I are out running around seeing a whole bunch of plays and a bunch of other people and we try and find people that are really doing fringy stuff so people that are pushing the envelope creatively either through performance or writing or staging or many other things and then at the end we actually make a thousand dollar award for the person who we think that's really captured that the most so if I see you around or you see me come up and say I know something that's uh, a little bit fringy or a little bit risky 
see, and I'll be sure to go and see it so I can, I can make sure that these people qualify for the award. So the other thing I love about the Fringe is that it's a really great opportunity. I always invite my friends, and I always have an evening where I go, oh, I'll pick these two people and then these two people. So every night I come down here, and I'm doing it with different people, and it's just a great way to connect with people, not to mention we probably go to all the restaurants all over Granville Island throughout the course of the festival. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I'd love to get a chance to meet you all. I haven't even met all the staff yet because, like Corey said, so many of them are, are fresh to us. But uh, we're, we're very excited about this kind of rebirth that we're having, this Granville Island rebirth. And uh, I look forward to some amazing, amazing shows. And Jai himself is, uh, last year he was actually a performer. He had his own show. So... I don't think that's ever going to be me, but I congratulate Jai because he did an amazing job and uh, all of you who I, I'd love to see your shows. So thank you very much to the amazing work that is happening over at the festival office with all the team. And I'm very, very excited about September. It's going to be amazing. So thanks, Corey. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Claudia. Okay, so uh, that's really, I'm, not, I'm stopping talking. Uh, but you will see a whole bunch of rollouts over the next uh, uh, month, a uh, month and a bit. Keep being patient with us. Keep looking for them. We're trying to make this as fun as possible. So uh, as we learn about what's next, uh, so will you. Isn't that exciting? Um, but also, uh, we are just so, so, so pleased, honored, um, you know, really, really uh, privileged to be able to be here and to be in this space once more and to be connected to human beings again and to feel like the world is turning in the world of art again. It's delightful. Um, it is all about love, my friends. And everybody in this room has expressed it uh, about the organization, but also it's about, in general, just how much in terms of arts and how much of our humanity we invest in this situation, how it really does connect us to each other, how it really does show us the best of each other. And it is a, really a, a pleasure to be here and to see all your faces and to know that I'll see them all again very, very soon. Um, uh, say one more big round of applause for the C Call to Sad trio. They've been great. Thank you. And oh, and I would be remiss not to say one last partner, uh, CMHC, Granville Island. Come on, you really need to give them a clap for there. They are, they're the ones to make this all happen down here. What I'm most excited about, well, the shows and the people. You never know what you're going to get when you see a show. There's no holds barred. It's exciting and it's challenging. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I'm really excited about is that it's going to be in person. I think that the Fringe being back is a sign of things coming back to life on the island. New artists doing new works that are exciting and out of the box. The innovation in the art form itself is a marvelous thing to be a part of. Exciting, fun, and local. I think the Fringe means fun. That's what it means to me. Also. That's the sound bite. <laughs>